Well, as we have been reporting all week, the weather has really been wreaking havoc on a lot of the state. The force of all that water yesterday and today has affected places where a lot of Utahns live. But in other parts of the state, that water swept through lonely landscapes with record force. Fox 13's Max Roth takes an in-depth look at Utah's high waters. I'm about to show you some amazing totals that show the sudden force that all of this rain puts on the landscape. And for every river and creek I mention, I could have chosen another three. Every dot on this map is a river or creek that set a record for its highest flows ever on this day. The numbers go from impressive to downright shocking, especially as we look southeast. Speaking of which, the Colorado River is Utah's biggest, and in an average year on this day, it would be flowing at 3,400 cubic feet per second at the measuring station near the Colorado border. Now, cubic feet per second doesn't help anyone picture anything. So let's say this measuring cup tops out at one normal Colorado Colorado River on this day. And we can also look at how high each river rose. We'll say this secret agent man is six feet tall. At 5 a.m. on Wednesday, Little Cottonwood Creek was flowing at 30 CFS cubic feet per second, about one one hundredth of a Colorado River. At 3.30 in the afternoon, it was at 673 CFS. That's one fifth of a Colorado. The gauge went from secret agent man's ankles to his neck, five feet three inches deep. Let's head southwest to the Perea River. At 10.30 Tuesday night, it was basically a deep ditch. Four and a half cubic feet per second flowing through. That's one 750th of a Colorado River. At 9 Thursday morning, 3,240 cubic feet per second, 95% of a Colorado. Secret agent man was standing in a 7-foot high stagnant ditch and then in a 12-foot high torrent. And now move southwest. The Dirty Devil River was a dripping faucet at 6.15 Wednesday evening, 0.34 of a cubic foot per second. That's one ten thousandth of a Colorado. At 9.30 in the morning, it hit 3,250 cubic feet per second, 96% of a Colorado. And the San Juan River flowed at a pretty healthy 1280 CFS at 3 Wednesday afternoon, 38% of a Colorado. Thursday morning, 745, 6,970 CFS. That is a touch more than two Colorado rivers. Secret Agent Man went from 6.5 feet to 11 feet deep. As that water swept through these streams for a time, the San Juan River was king, bigger than the Colorado, even though it's a tributary to the Colorado. In the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.